Hey yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back. And on this episode, we are going to tackle the HE game mechanic. In World of Tanks, we are going to talk such things as OP tanks. We are going to talk such things as broken tanks and broken game mechanics. You can see that I have Arathorn here in his Type 5. I'm going to show you a Type 4 game of mine right after this. He's got some fantastic camo on his great big Type 5 which he has simply driven up the middle and dropped 616 with near zero respect for anything going on in the game other than his reload and his HE game mechanic. Now, the only tanks that can really give him trouble are, that's one of them, the grill. And I believe he actually hits the guy here because you don't see an explosion. And <laughs> he, never, he never sees the grill again. <laughs> not until later. Actually, that's not true. The grill sneaks another shot in here. Anyway, the HE game again, there he is, so he let him have it again. So he drives his Type 5 heavily armored derp shooting HE gun tank and drives right into the middle of the fight. And there he is, surrounded by enemies, pretty darn confident that nothing's going to happen to him, and dropping shots like that, 387, into a track of all things. Now that shot would have been eaten by the track if it was a heat shot. It may have been a crit no damage if it was an AP or APCR shot, but because he has this massive derp gun that he just aims in the general direction, blap, he's going to be guaranteed four to 600 damage every shot. Four to 600 damage, no thinking involved, no thinking involved, or very little. The HE game mechanic in this game is what they call broken. And you can tell every time he blaps another 600 into somebody without really trying to aim, just at the big billboard side of the tank. That is simply a broken game mechanic. And when you add it to the fact that the, what is the caliber of this gun anyway? I don't even, 200 or 180 or some crazy thing like that. Very surprised that didn't pin his roof and completely destroy him. That's broken. That's a broken game mechanic. And to a large extent, artillery is the same. I don't even know why I would... I wouldn't even shot the 103. I would have gone for more hit points and just watched the 103 ram me or get killed in a ram against me or something. You might say, well, Guido, it's, it's not broken because... The Type 5 and the Type 4 don't run around with 65% win rates, blah, blah, blah. Well, this is an interesting shot. It actually goes underneath the Badger. And far enough underneath that it doesn't hit the ground and blow up underneath him. So I, I'm not sure if he was going for the lower plate or trying to hit underneath the Badger. But that's one of the dangers of going underneath them with these big guns. Probably unwisely sat there and let the Badger aim in on his weak point relatively weak point, which is something like 20 millimeters less or so. Let's see, did it go in there? No, it looks like it went into the side of the tank. Maybe over-angled right there. Oh, the turret. Could have been the turret, but that may have been the grill. So yes, they're not running around with 65, 75% win rates, but they are broken. 638 into one of the most heavily armored tanks in the game. Going through the tracks, again, something that a heat shell would not have been able to do with tons more penetration. Heat shell would have been eaten by the track. Comes around here, hits the mantlet, which is also one of the other issues with heat HE, where HE is actually weird. It's pretty much broken all, all around, but in that case, if you hit a mantlet with a massive gun like that, you do four or eight or something crazy like this. And there goes 1150 off the Scorpion G. And really just driving around the map, blapping things. There's the grill. There's his friend, the grill. Really the only tanks that had a chance to do much to him were the grill, the T95, which is now dead. There's another T95 out there. Some of the TDs with gold. There goes the grill. He's done. Looking for the artillery. Can we get an artillery kill with the type foot? Nope. That guy's dead. And we've dropped 5,910 in a tank that all he really had to do was drive straight forward, push around corners, and shoot people. It's a nicely aimed shot and hit something. 
something other than the Type 95, or that's a T28, never mind, that's not a T95. Or Type 95, which is what I just said. T28 is desperately trying to cap, hoping against hope. There goes another broken tank. Still pretty much broken, but we're talking about the HE game mechanic. Where there is no aiming for weak spots really required. Let's see if we can get this guy on the run. Nope, hits a dead tank. No real aiming required, no real thought required. To a large extent, artillery is the same issue writ large with the added benefit or curse, however you want to look at it, that artillery does not have to worry about line of sight. Now watch this. This poor RU is making a mad dash. Earthorn looks down this road, doesn't see him. Moves forward. Oh, see something go down. There he is. And no, you are not fast enough there. <laughs> 612. <laughs> Folks, this is a very badly broken game mechanic, and the developers refuse to do anything about it. It's been complained about for a very long time. I, I like the Japanese idea. Just the way that the HE is implemented and the size of the guns is insane. It's the difference between broken and OP. Yes, they are not running around with a 65 to 75 percent win rate, but they allow people who otherwise would not be able to to have a oversized effect on games. They negate a large amount of the mechanics of the game, things that you're trying to do. As far as aim at weak spots, maneuver, side scraping, things like that. Obviously, maneuver is well used against them if you can get into their side and jump on them with multiple tanks. They go down relatively quickly. But as long as you're able to keep your front to the enemy, which you in general can, they're, they're well broken. They are well broken. And even the case of this where he waded into a lot of enemies, because he had enough friends around, they were not able to surround and take him down. So he could just sit there, basically sitting in the middle of the road, blapping people for five to 600 damage. And the occasional penetration in the side of a tank doing, you know, 900, 1,000, whatever. Let's have another example. That was a city example. Let's go to another example of me and my Type 4. Here's a second example, me and Natsu, or Natsu and I, a clan mate, also a, a former Eagle driver. Moving up here to the top of the map in our Type 4s, driving along, oblivious, not caring what we face. And I just tell him, Natsu, we're just gonna drive up to the top and we're gonna start laying out tons of damage. So there you go, 664 into the face right into the face of one of the heaviest armed tier 8s in the entire game, the 100.01. .01. I don't care about aiming, I don't really care about anything other than this reload comes up and I drop another 600 or so into somebody. The accuracy of the guns, there's 609 for a 257, also very heavily armored. All I care about is getting close enough that the slight derpiness of the gun is in a complete negative. And while the gun is relatively inaccurate, it's not that inaccurate, and it's got plenty of accuracy to do things like, as I wait for the wood pieces to go by, another 627 into the side of an object, 257, notoriously difficult to pin from the side because of the weird angles, heat getting eaten by tracks, but this massive HE shield cares not, strangely, not so only manages, manages 203, probably finally hit him in the front of the turret where some armor is. Trying to get around this IS-6. And now I'm just going to drive around and we're going to drop another. Oh, I missed. Holy cow. Wonders never cease. Going for the next reload. Would I ever poke around this corner with that many guns down there? Not likely. Smartly, the tiger goes for a track, but eats, I was going to say a thousand, but I only did 570 of it, not so got a piece of him, for his efforts. Was not smart turning his side to me there. One thing that's interesting about these tanks is we're, we are losing a little bit right here, and while I've dropped 2,470, it does take a while for a reload. Still, in situations like this where tanks are attempting to be holed down, and they've created for themselves an advantage right there, at least initially, in numbers and hit points, they're now in big trouble because 
As their guns are reduced, the hold down has zero effect against this kind of tank. So I'm going to gaff off some of these guys. I'm just going to head over this way. Put a shot into the side of the T-29. There's 544 for you. Not so drives over there to take on four or five tanks, something you would never really do in any other tank. And they scamper away because they know there's nothing they can do against the Type 4. One of the more broken things about this tank in the HE game mechanic in general is when you are low hit points there is zero you can do at least with the other game mechanic with the AP, APCR, Heat. If you're low hit points there there is a number of angles or maneuver or side scraping there's something you can do but in the case of someone like this there's zero that guy can do to stop from getting hit by 559. All the wiggling and moving around now that does throw off a little bit the aiming of the physical of the human making his physical aim but as far as the vagaries of RNG and angles and all those calculations HE doesn't care HE just goes blap you're done down he goes and slowly but surely inexorably we basically walk through their entire team 15 seconds at a time or whatever the reload is on this thing blapping away knowing that every shot we take is going to do some damage if it connects every shot we take and that's okay if you're talking a 122 Russian derpy gun who is using HE as a secondary weapon something to reset a cap or to make sure they track somebody or to kill that low hit point tank that's bounced a couple but that's not how this one is used it's the main gun it's the it's the big trick that this tank has and it's quite a trick and the trick is broken just blapping away as we go really the setup on this game unless we somehow got up there alone and all those tanks were there without and we did not have our friends with us this game was never going to go in any other direction and I hate to say it in the case of this the only chance the other team would have was to have more arty the one GW Panther was not enough to stop two type fours and that's a terrible balance decision there you're t if you're telling me that in order to balance a tank like the type four we need more arty I have to ask the question why do we need either what what what's the purpose there you may say, well, it's the other superhero, superheroes, the other super heavies as well. And I suppose that is something of an argument. But you can, against the other super heavies, get hold down. You can use angles. You can jiggle around and cause misses and things like that. Whereas with the HE game mechanic of these massive Japanese howitzers, naval guns, whatever they are, there just isn't anything you can do about it minus hide completely behind a rock or gang tackle them because of the design of maps that's very often most of the time not possible so it's a case of a game mechanic and a gun and a tank that is broken by miles but not necessarily OP and the last thing we'll do is we'll take a look at this we've got 1100 damage with the regular HE shell 75 pen and we've got 1400 damage with the gold round it's not something I'd mention. I'd left it for the end because it is absolutely ridiculous that a gold round does more damage. There are only a few of those in the game. They tend to be HE rounds. They might be some Hesh. I'm not sure if that's a thing or not. I know it is with the HE. But doing more damage or more splash with a... which equates to more damage for artillery because you fired a gold round is a, a step closer to pay to win than I think we really should be going. But anyway, that's my two cents on the massive derp guns on things like the Type 4, and really it starts at the 01. I guess it was kind of interesting when there was a, just a KV-2 and a couple others that did that thing. But now that there's an entire line and you simply cannot avoid these things in every battle, and their brothers like the Oho and the Oni, etc., etc., it really is a broken game mechanic. I don't know what the answer is to fix it. I'm, 
I'd have to think about it for a while. Initially, I guess what I would say is let's make these things a better AP gun or give them a different gun. But this HE blapping thing really has to go. Anyway, like I said, my two cents. Thanks for tuning in. Leave your comments down below. I'm sure it will be wild and wooly. That's all right. Everybody has an opinion. Go ahead and leave it down there. Have a civil discussion and we will talk it out. And then do nothing about it. <laughs> but hey, that's why we're here. We're playing the game. We're talking about the game. That doesn't mean we can't sport bitch and have a little discussion, argument, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you.